you want to build a high-end computer and you have around 1800 dollars to spend, then you came to the right place. The gaming PC that I show you today achieves amazing performance at 1440p and 4K resolution, high to ultra settings in high demanding titles. And by the way, you can max out 1440p resolution even if you want to play with ray tracing enabled. Stay until the end if you want to see every component, which by the way is compatible with each other of course, and if you want to see the expected gaming performance and also a cheaper PC that will perform almost the same as this system. You will find a link to this computer and the cheaper one down below in the video description with the latest pricing and availability in your region. My name is Valentino, that being said, let's start. We start by talking about the $1800 gaming PC. This is a beast of a high-end system, mainly because of the CPU and graphics card. Now, for the CPU you get the Ryzen 7 7800X3D, which is one of the fastest gaming CPUs in the entire market, and as of right now is going for a great price. By the time of filming, you can find it for around 370 bucks, which is a really good price for this high-end gaming CPU that will allow you to play any esports shooter like Valorant or Fortnite or CS2 at over 360 plus FPS on average when it comes to 4K competitive settings and over 480 plus FPS when it comes to 1440p competitive settings. So feel free to go with a 1440p 360Hz or even 480Hz monitor if you have the budget to and you want to compete in these type of games or if you want to compete at 4K resolution on a 240Hz display. By the way, I will also leave the ideal 1440p and 4K monitor down in the video description. Also, this CPU is going to be amazing when it comes to high CPU demanding titles, like for example, Fly Simulator, which will require a ton from your CPU. So having this processor will be ideal, not only for eSports shooters, which are easy to run and you want to achieve high FPS, but also for more high demanding games that will require a ton from your CPU, like, as I said before, Fly Simulator or games like Cities Skylines. Now, the graphics card is very important. I would say it's the most important component when it comes to high demanding titles, so I will talk about it in just a second. Before talking about the graphics card, I want to say that you get an aftermarket CPU cooler, which is going to work perfectly fine alongside the Ryzen 7 7800X3D. It has RGB and the price is very decent. Then you get a motherboard with Wi-Fi included, just in case you don't have an Ethernet cable, and you get 32 gigs of DDR5 memory, which makes it an amazing not only gaming PC, but also for streaming and content creation. So if you want to do more than just gaming for around 1800 bucks, this system will be perfect for you as well. Then you get two terabytes of Gen 4 SSD, so you get plenty of storage if you want to install a bunch of games, or if you're a content creator and you want to install a software and you have heavy videos all the time, well, having two terabytes of SSD will be ideal compared to having one terabyte. Now let's talk about the graphics card. Here I went with the NVIDIA RTX 5070i. This graphics card is one of the best high-end GPUs out there that will allow you to play at 1440p maxed out settings, and I'm talking about high to ultra settings in high demanding games at over 120 FPS on average. This is an insane level of gaming performance considering we are talking about games like Cyberpunk 2077, The Last of Us Part 1, and games of that nature. With the 5070i you also get the best upscaling technology in the LSS, which is supported by almost every game. And on top of that, you get the best level of ray tracing performance in case you want to play with ray tracing enabled at 1440p. And if you want to play at 4K, you can expect over 80 FPS when it comes to high demanding games, high to ultra settings, or even higher performance if you are playing with DLSS enabled. So overall, you can play at 4K with no issues. I have tested the 5070 Ti myself at 4K, and trust me, you can get very fast performance even in those high demanding games. In my opinion, this is also one of the best price to performance graphics cards when it comes to 4K, because if you try to spend more money, Need to get faster performance, the next graphics card available is the RTX 5080, which yes, is a bit faster, but it's only about 10 to 20% faster, while the price is almost double, which is crazy. Now, if you want to get around the same level of gaming performance, but you want to spend quite a bit less, I do recommend you going AMD in that case and going with the RX 9070 XT. In terms of rasterized performance, you will be achieving almost the same level of performance, but you have to keep in mind that the 5070 Ti is better when it comes to ray tracing performance. If you care about ray tracing, tracing and DLSS is supported by more games. So if you are thinking of using the upscaling technology, just keep in mind that going with Nvidia might be the better choice, but also the more expensive option. 
If all you care about is rasterized performance, the 9070XT will offer a better price to performance and the total price will be lower, but I will be talking about the total price in just a moment. Before talking about the price, I want to talk about one of the most important things inside of the system, which is airflow. The airflow has to be top tier. And that's why on a high-end system, I didn't want to cheap out and I went with the new Montec X5 gaming case. Now, this case comes with four principal RGB fans. In my opinion, it's one of the best looking cases out there. And it's also one of the best value cases because it goes for 70 bucks and you can pair it with high-end components. And last but not least, you need the proper power supply. Otherwise, your PC might randomly shut down. And trust me, you do not want that to happen. That's why I went with an A-tier rated 850 watt power supply for you not to have any potential issues when it comes to the power for this system. Now, the total price by the time of filming is 1780 bucks if you go with the NVIDIA 5070 Ti. And if you decide to go AMD in the 9070 XT for your graphics card, then the price will be around 1660 bucks. So you're spending a bit over $100 less for around the same rasterized gaming performance. So the decision will be up to you and up to your budget. Just keep in mind that the price might be different when you're watching this video because there are some sale holidays coming. So you may find it at a discount. That's why I do recommend you checking the latest prices and availability from the links down in the video description. Or you may find that these prices are a bit more expensive by the time of watching. And if you have more than $1,800 to spend or you have less than $1,600, then I do recommend you watching my video on the best value PC build of the month. You will find that video in the top right corner of the screen. Thank you for watching and I will see you on the next one.